Okay, I'm going to talk um, about normal distribution. This is going to lead into uh, the work on uh, standard deviation. But I think it's important that we understand a few bits about what this is first of all. Um, what's known as a normal distribution, this is really a mathematical term, normal. Um, it, it doesn't mean normal in the everyday sense of the word, meaning not abnormal, not weird. It doesn't, doesn't mean that at all. Um, it's a particular um, distribution of, of data or information. And it's sometimes referred to as a, a bell curve. It looks a bit like, I suppose, um, a bell, you know, if you think of it like that. There's a, there's a kind of bell you know, that you'd ring. Uh, it's got that kind of shape. Now, in fact, it has a specific um, mathematical, a specific mathematical properties about it. Now, most of the times we're going to come across it in, in biology, um, we are going to assume that when we collect some data, we, we, you, we very often assume it has a normal distribution. So what does that mean? Um, you know, let's say we took, um, they often use the example in the books about leaves off trees. So if we pulled all the leaves off a tree and we measured um, you know, their length, some are going to be pretty small, some are going to be somewhere in the middle, some are going to be bigger. But if you added up the frequency of all these things, um, you know, you'd have some small leaves, you'd have some very big leaves, and most would be somewhere in the middle. And we'd get this this normal distribution. Okay. In other words, what it's saying is most things are in, around the uh, uh, sort of average. Uh, some things are at the extremes on either end. Um, that's basically the idea around it. And it doesn't always necessarily strictly apply in in, in biological systems. But they, they will usually say something to you like, assume that this is a normal distribution. Um, so that that's what we're going to work with. The assumptions that are made. Or the, the things that we can say about normal distribution, um, mean, mode, and median values are all the same. Okay, normally we, we don't really come across mode and median too much um, in biology, but the mean value, remember to use this term mean rather than saying average, because all of these are averages and they all mean something different. Nearly always we're going to be talking about the mean average, so refer to it as the mean. Um, We've got this symmetrical spread of data, and I've not quite drawn it so well, but it should be symmetrical um, around each side of the mean. And 50% of our values are on one side, in other words, below average, 50% would be above average if we have a normal distribution. But when we look at it, um, most of our values, most of you know, all this stuff, all these frequencies whether it's the size of leaves or you know it could be the length of I know lobster claws or it could be height of um, plants or whatever it may be most of the data is around here most things are similar in their properties to the mean you know there, there aren't the extremes okay and we can look at this idea using something called a standard deviation for which technically the symbol is, is sigma, Greek letter, which kind of looks like a, a six that's been flattened down a little bit, I suppose. Um, that what standard deviation tells you is the spread of data. If we look at this, it's telling you how spread out the data is. Now, if I just redraw this for a second, and these numbers, these values are, are um, worth remembering. If a normal distribution back on. Looks a bit different this time, doesn't matter. Um, here's my, my mean value, my mean average. If I calculate the standard deviation of this, and it, remember it's a, it's a measure of the spread, one standard deviation either side of the mean, okay, so that bit if you like, contains approximately. 68% of all my readings, all of my data falls within one standard deviation either side of the mean. Okay, so all of that is 68% um, of my data would fall into there, 68% of my readings. Um, if I went to, um, you have to forgive my scaling a little bit here. If I got two standard deviations, not quite to scale, is it? So that, that's one standard deviation. I have two standard deviations away from my mean now. 2 sigma, 
it's pretty much 95% of all of my data falls within two standard deviations either side of the mean average. Okay, Now this becomes pretty useful because what this is saying is if I get a number that's more than two standard deviations away from my mean average, it's a pretty extreme example of something. If you like in GCSE terms, what we might start saying is things like, um, you know, GCSE, you started talking about things being outliers, data that didn't fit the pattern. Um, and that's really what this is showing you. It's saying, um, by measuring the standard deviation on a normal distribution of data, we get an idea of are our results sort of where we, you know, where we'd expect them to be, or are they a long way away from where we'd expect it to be? In which case, something interesting might be happening. So that's all standard deviation is a measure of how spread out your data is compared to your mean average. And we'll take this on in the next um, idea and look at this um, way to calculate standard deviation.